Ever pondered why Sigma males seem to be growing weirder? Let's take a moment to unpack this fascinating concept. Sigma males, a unique group within the societal hierarchy, are often misunderstood due to their distinctive traits and behaviors, making them appear weird to some. You may be familiar with the more commonly known alpha and beta males. Alphas are often seen as the leaders, the go-getters, the ones who take charge and crave the spotlight. On the other hand, beta males are usually characterized as the followers, the ones who are content with being in the background, supporting and assisting the alphas. But sigma males are a different breed altogether. They don't quite fit into these traditional molds. They are the lone wolves, the free thinkers, the enigmatic ones who march to the beat of their own drums. They don't seek validation from others, nor do they feel the need to dominate or be dominated. They are self-sufficient and thrive on their independence. Sigma males are not antisocial, as they are often perceived. They are selectively social. They prefer meaningful interactions over superficial small talk. They value their solitude and use it as a tool for introspection and self-improvement. In a world that's constantly pushing us to conform, to adhere to societal norms and expectations, Sigma males choose a different path. They are the rebels, the non-conformists, the ones who dare to question the status quo. They are not swayed by societal pressures or the need to fit in. They are comfortable in their skin and are content with their unique way of life. This distinctive approach to life can make Sigma males seem weird or different to those who don't understand them. But is it really weird to choose a path of self-reliance and independence? Is it weird to value deep, meaningful connections over superficial relationships? Or is it just a different way of navigating through life? Sigma males, often misunderstood, veer off the beaten path, making them appear weird to some. But as we delve deeper into their world, we may find that their weirdness is what makes them truly unique and captivating. So let's embark on this journey of understanding and exploring the intriguing world of Sigma males. To understand why Sigma males are getting weirder, we first need to know who they are. So who exactly is a Sigma male? Picture this, a lone wolf, a maverick who dances to the beat of his own drum. That's your Sigma male for you. Sigma males are unique in their introverted nature. Unlike their alpha counterparts who thrive in the limelight, Sigmas prefer the quiet corners of a room. They enjoy their own company, often choosing solitude over social gatherings. This isn't because they're shy or lack social skills, but rather they find energy and solace in their alone time. They're the ones who'd rather spend a Friday night with a good book than at a crowded party. But don't mistake their introversion for weakness. Sigma males are incredibly self-sufficient. They don't need a group to feel secure or validated. They are comfortable in their own skin relying on their own abilities to navigate life's challenges. They are the epitome of independence, often preferring to work alone where they can control the pace and direction of their tasks. One of the most striking traits of Sigma males is their non-conformity. They don't follow societal norms or trends just because everyone else does. They have their own set of rules and principles that they live by. This is not a rebellious act, but a testament to their self-belief and individuality. They march to the beat of their own drum, not swayed by popular opinion or peer pressure. Sigma males are not afraid to be different. In fact, they embrace it. They are the outliers, the ones who challenge the status quo. They are the ones who question, explore, and redefine societal norms. They're not weird for the sake of being weird, but rather, their uniqueness stems from their authenticity and their refusal to be anything but themselves. Sigma males are the wolves that roam alone, the mavericks of society. They are the ones who walk their own path, unafraid of where it may lead. They are the ones who embrace their weirdness, not as a badge of eccentricity, but as a testament to their individuality. Sigma males are not a new phenomenon, but their behavior is evolving. These elusive individuals have been around for as long as society has, standing out from the crowd as independent thinkers and doers. However, the evolution of our society, driven by significant changes and technological advancements, has impacted the behavior of Sigma males, making them appear increasingly weird or different. In the past, Sigma males were often misunderstood, seen as loners or introverts, 
who preferred their own company over that of others. Yet as society has shifted from a focus on communal living to valuing individualism, the Sigma male's preference for solitude and self-reliance has become less of an oddity and more of an asset. The rise of the digital age has further amplified this shift. With the advent of technology, Sigma males have found new ways to express their individuality, to learn, to connect, and to thrive without conforming to societal norms. They've embraced the internet as a tool for self-education, a platform for expressing their unique perspectives, and a means of connecting with like-minded individuals across the globe. The evolution of work culture, too, has played a significant role in the perceived weirdness of Sigma males. As remote work and freelancing become more prevalent, Sigma males are thriving in these non-traditional work environments. They are proving that success doesn't necessarily require a 9-to-5 job in an office, but can be achieved through independent pursuits, self-discipline, and a healthy dose of creativity. The Sigma male's preference for minimalistic living, their love for deep thought and introspection, and their ability to step away from societal expectations all contribute to their perceived weirdness. But as society continues to evolve, it's becoming clear that these weird characteristics are actually strengths, providing Sigma males with the flexibility and resilience to navigate a rapidly changing world. So yes, Sigma males are getting weirder, but perhaps it's not them who are changing. Maybe it's our understanding and acceptance of their weirdness that's evolving. As society evolves, so do Sigma males, adapting in their unique ways. Sigma males and society have a complex relationship. The dance between these two entities is, in fact, quite a fascinating spectacle to observe. Let's delve into this dynamic to understand the roots of the perceived weirdness of Sigma males. Sigma males by nature are introverted and independent. They thrive on their own, preferring solitude to the hustle and bustle of societal norms. This inherent trait often leads to misconceptions about Sigma males. To the untrained eye, their preference for solitude can come across as aloofness or apathy towards societal events which can lead to them being misunderstood or even ostracized. The societal framework, which is built predominantly around extroversion, can often feel confining for Sigma males. They value their autonomy and freedom, often finding the societal pressure towards conformity unappealing. This clash between societal norms and their inherent nature is a key reason why Sigma males might appear weird to the majority. They don't set out to be deliberately contrarian, Rather, they choose to live by their own rules in a world that often doesn't understand their need for autonomy. This results in a unique behavior pattern that sets them apart from the crowd. Sigma males are not antisocial. They are selectively social. They choose their interactions carefully, preferring meaningful connections over superficial ones. This selective socialization might be interpreted as weird by the society that thrives on constant interaction and connectivity. It's important to realize that the term weird is subjective. What may seem weird to one person might be perfectly normal to another. The perceived weirdness of Sigma males is simply a reflection of their divergence from societal norms. It's their way of navigating a world that often doesn't understand their need for solitude and independence. In conclusion, the relationship between Sigma males and society is one of mutual misunderstanding. Sigma males are often misunderstood because of their non-conforming behavior, and in turn, they often feel misunderstood by a society that values extroversion and conformity. Their unique relationship with society shapes Sigma males' behavior, often perceived as weird. However, it's this very weirdness that makes Sigma males the intriguing individuals they are. In relationships, Sigma males are truly unique. They don't just dip their toes in the shallow end of the pool, they dive into the deep end, seeking connections that are profound and meaningful. Their approach isn't typical. It's not about quantity for them, but quality. They're not interested in superficial or casual relationships, they crave depth and authenticity. Sigma males are often seen as lone wolves, preferring solitude to the company of others. This doesn't mean they're antisocial, rather they're highly selective about whom they allow into their inner circle. When they do form a bond, it's intense and intimate, 
often leaving others feeling like they're on the outside looking in. This can sometimes lead to them being misunderstood as weird. In a world where many thrive on social media likes and fleeting interactions, Sigma males stand apart. They aren't swayed by societal norms of dating or relationships. They don't need to be constantly surrounded by people to feel fulfilled. They seek partners who understand their need for space and solitude, who can appreciate the depth of their emotions, and who can match their intellectual curiosity. Despite their independence, Sigma males are not devoid of feelings. Quite the contrary, they are capable of deep emotional connections, but they don't wear their hearts on their sleeves. They express their love differently, often through actions rather than words. They believe in showing, not telling. This unique approach to relationships can be perplexing for those used to more traditional dynamics. Sigma males are not interested in power games or superficial charm. They seek meaningful conversations and shared experiences. They want partners who can journey with them through the depths of their thoughts and passions. In relationships, Sigma males' depth and intensity can often be misunderstood as weirdness. But in reality, it's a testament to their authenticity and their refusal to settle for anything less than genuine connections. So the next time you meet a Sigma male, remember, they're not weird, they're just different. And in a world full of copies, isn't it refreshing to meet an original? In the workplace, Sigma males march to the beat of their own drum. Sigma males, in the context of work, are unique creatures. They thrive in environments where there's a balance of structure and freedom. They are not the ones to blindly follow the crowd or stick to the status quo. Instead, they are the unconventional thinkers, the innovators, the ones who often step outside the norm and challenge the traditional ways of doing things. Often you'll find Sigma males gravitating towards roles that allow them a sense of autonomy. They are the independent contractors, the freelancers, the entrepreneurs, the remote workers. This is not to say they can't function in a team setting or an organizational hierarchy. They can and they do, but they value their independence and the ability to have a say in their work. They prefer roles that allow them to be self-driven, to set their own goals and to work at their own pace. Their approach to work can sometimes be perceived as weird or out of the ordinary. They might be the ones who prefer to work late into the night when everyone else has left, or the ones who would rather work from a quiet corner than in the hustle and bustle of an open office. They might be the ones who prefer to communicate via email rather than face-to-face -face meetings. They might be the ones who take unconventional routes to solve problems. This can often lead to misinterpretations. Their need for solitude can be mistaken for aloofness. Their preference for autonomy can be misread as a lack of team spirit. Their unconventional ways can be seen as non-conforming or rebellious. But the truth is, Sigma males are simply wired differently. They're not being weird for the sake of being weird. They are simply being true to their nature. In their professional lives, Sigma males' independent streak can often be misunderstood as weirdness. But remember, it's this very weirdness that often leads to innovation, creativity and progress in the workplace. Being weird is not necessarily a bad thing. Now let's delve into the peculiarities of Sigma males, a term that has become synonymous with mystique and intrigue. Sigma males are often perceived as weird by societal standards. They stray from the beaten path and march to the beat of their own drum. But let's not mistake this weirdness for a flaw. Instead, it is a testament to their uniqueness, a badge of honor that they wear proudly. Consider their creativity. Sigma males aren't confined by the conventional norms that dictate the right way of doing things. Their minds are a playground of ideas, constantly pushing boundaries and exploring uncharted territories. They see the world through a different lens, one that is often filled with extraordinary insights and innovative solutions. Then, there's their independence. Sigma males are self-reliant, thriving in solitude where they can immerse themselves in their thoughts and pursuits. This independence is not born out of a disdain for others, but a deep-seated desire for freedom. They are not bound by the chains of societal expectations, allowing them to live life on their own terms. And let's not forget their deep thinking. Sigma males are introspective, 
often lost in a world of thought. They ponder life's mysteries, question the status quo, and seek answers to questions that many wouldn't dare to ask. This deep thinking allows them to perceive the world in a way that is profound and enlightening, adding a layer of depth to their weirdness. So when we label Sigma males as weird, we're acknowledging their divergence from the norm. But this divergence is not a weakness, rather it's a strength. It's their creativity that births groundbreaking ideas, their independence that fosters self-reliance, and their deep thinking that uncovers profound insights. In their weirdness, Sigma males embody a unique set of strengths. They are the mavericks, the innovators, the deep thinkers. They are the Sigma males, embracing their weirdness and turning it into a force to be reckoned with. So, are Sigma males getting weirder, or are we just beginning to understand them? As we delve deeper into this exploration, it becomes clear that Sigma males aren't necessarily getting weirder. Instead, we are beginning to peel back the layers of their complexity revealing a unique type of masculinity that deviates from societal norms. In this journey, we've unearthed that Sigma males are introverted, self-reliant, and value their independence above all else. They are the lone wolves, the wanderers, the men who march to the beat of their own drum. They are comfortable in solitude, finding peace and creativity in their own company. This trait can often be misunderstood as weird or antisocial, but it's just the Sigma way of life. Sigma males are not bound by societal expectations. They don't feel the need to conform to traditional roles or norms. They create their own path, carving out a unique existence that aligns with their personal values and beliefs. This nonconformity can be perceived as weird, but it's just another facet of their individuality. In terms of relationships, Sigma males are selective. They take their time to choose a partner who resonates with their worldview, someone who understands and respects their need for solitude and independence. This selective nature can be mistaken for aloofness or indifference, but it's simply a reflection of their depth and discernment. In the workplace, Sigma males thrive in roles that allow them autonomy and creativity. They prefer to work alone, avoiding the politics and drama of team environments. This preference can be misinterpreted as being antisocial or odd, but it's merely a manifestation of their self-reliance and desire for independence. In conclusion, Sigma males are not getting weirder. They are simply misunderstood. Their unique traits and behaviors challenge societal norms, offering a fresh and unique perspective. They represent a different kind of masculinity, one that values individuality, independence, and introspection. Sigma males in their weirdness challenge societal norms offering a unique perspective on life.